So Ior Kolomoisky, the um, Ukrainian Israeli Cypriot oligarch, well, he's in a heap of trouble in England because they're suing him for fraud. Because basically the guy stole one and a half billion dollars, actually more, it's closer to about 1.7 billion billion dollars from the bank that he controlled. He was partial owner and he controlled it. And he basically fleeced his own bank. It's called Privat Bank. And there's a big trial going on in England about this. And today, as a matter of fact, his lawyers tried to postpone the trial because they said that, you know, because of the war, you know, it's impossible to get testimony and blah, blah, blah. And the thing is, see, you realize that a guy like Kolomoisky, who's a key player in this whole thing, he wants the war to last as long as possible. Now, how is he a key player? Well, he's the guy who set up Zelensky as president. He's the guy who picked him. His, uh, Kolomoisky's uh, uh, media company, One Plus One Media, well, it created the show Servant of the People, which hired Zelensky as the main actor. And then when that show became a hit, and it was an astroturfed hit, after it became a hit, Kolomoisky was the one who positioned Zelensky to go from being a TV president to be an, an actual president. And he financed his campaign, paid off the right people, and got Zelensky elected. And then surrounded him with neo-Nazi Azov battalion people, which Kolomoisky had originally financed. Yeah, back in 2012 and 2013, Kolomoisky was the guy who put the money for the radical right or extremist right or not neo-Nazis. What, what am I talking about? They're not radical right. They're neo-Nazis. He was the one, Kolomoisky, who put the money for these thugs because that's what they were. They were football hooligans. Football hooligans from here, from Kharkov, from the Metalist Football Club here in Kharkov. That's where they originated from, the Azov Battalion. And Kolomoisky financed them. And you say, well, how would a Jewish financier finance neo-Nazis? And well, my thinking has always been, you know, Muscle is muscle. Yeah? I mean, if, if the guys had been, um, you know, Zionist thugs, Kolomoisky would have hired him. He, he doesn't have any, any scruples about their ideology. All he cares about is muscle because Kolomoisky, the way he achieved his fortune was by using organized crime, threats of intimidation, and actual uses of violence, and in some cases, the murder of people, in order to acquire his fortune. I mean, Kolomoisky is a scumbag. And Kolomoisky, he's in trouble because, you see, the United States, he alienated the Americans for various reasons, for various crimes. He's alienated the Russians. The Russians don't like him at all. And Kolomoisky tried to cut a separate deal with the Russians. You know what the Russians did? They blew up his refinery on purpose. Yeah. I mean, how can I put it? You know, a lot of people are saying that uh, the, the refinery that the Russians blew up was just to, you know, to... Uh, to stop the flow of fuel to the Ukrainian army could be, but some of the targets, apart from the um, from the oil refinery, uh, some of the other targets around Dnipropetrovsk, which is uh, Ihor Kolomoisky's hometown, they got hit, and everybody's like, "Why was that?" But there were locations that mattered to Kolomoisky, stuff that he owned, and the Russians hit it with missiles and stuff. Yeah, the Russians know him, and they want no part of it. Or to the point they probably do want a part of him they want a lot of parts of him to cut him up into little pieces that's what they probably want to do and kolomoisky is probably scared out of his mind and he's got this court case going on in england so he wants to prolong this case because the guy well you know you can tell that he's um he's running out of luck kolomoisky is you know this guy who's caused so much misery to so many people so many people in ukraine because he's the source of it or one of the sources of it I mean, the guy is scum. The guy is a thief. He's a murderer. He's a thug. He should be punished. And what he's trying to do is he's trying to say that, you know, the chaos going on in Ukraine is preventing him from getting a fair trial. And what he probably wants is that, you know, in, in this chaos, he's going to try to figure out a way to have his goons of the Azov Battalion and the other thugs in the Zelensky regime destroy the records, and probably kill off some of the witnesses. Because in the confusion of war, the fog of war, it's easy to get away with all kinds of nefarious acts. And so Kolomoisky is probably going to use the Zelensky regime thugs to kill off witnesses and to destroy the evidence. And that's what's going on. And don't feel sorry for him. The guy's evil. He is truly evil. I mean, 
The more you look into the guy, the more evil you realize he is. And by the way, for those of you keeping score, and those of you who might not know, Kolomoisky had a big participation in Burisma Gas Company. Do you know Burisma? The one where Hunter Biden used to work at on the board for a no-show job of a million bucks a year? The no-show job of a million bucks a year and 10% got kicked upstairs to the big guy? Yeah, yeah. And you know, Hunter Biden came to Ukraine all kinds of times to do his drugs and to mess with his hookers and whatnot. You don't think that Ihor Kolomoisky has all kinds of video evidence of Hunter Biden doing God knows what, not to mention documentary evidence of Hunter Biden getting all kinds of money that he kicked upstairs to Joe Biden. Yeah. Ihor Kolomoisky is a problem. He is a serious problem for a number of people. If I had to guess, you know, I don't think that his, his days on this earth are going to be very long. I mean, I personally don't wish anybody ill. I don't wish anybody, I wish everybody a long life. But at the same time, I'm a practical man. I look at the reality of things, you know? And I don't think that Ihor Kolomoisky is long for this earth because he has no friends. Because he screwed over everyone. And that's the truth about poor Ihor Kolomoisky. Best of luck to him wherever he's hiding out. 